And another new feature in 1.45 is the secondary fragmentation properties. Uh, as you can see, not all uh, fragmentation types support it, like wood splinters and bricks doesn't support it. Don't support it, uh, but all other yes. So I will use uniform. This is 20 iterations. So this is a simple fragmentation with without secondary fragmentation. Now I will set iteration to one. Fragment again, and as you can see here, I'm getting a little bit more interesting result. So what it does, basically what it does is uh, that it assign a refire fragmenter for first pardon, and if secondary fragmentation is one, it add one more refire fragment modifier with different C and fragment it further. So uh, one iteration means that there will be one refire fragmenter added on top of that. If you will use two, it will add second one, and so on. So at the end you can get pretty pretty messy result using just uh, 20 iterations and a couple of iterations for secondary fragmentation. You can get a lot of fragments. So uh, next property is percents of points. It defines how many percents from original pass, from original point cloud, will be used for the second iteration. Like if I will have this 100, increase it to 50. Here's what I'm getting now. Using iterations even more. I can get even more fragments. And the versions in percent defines how far uh, points will go from their original position. So if I will set it to say 1% or pretty low. Yeah. As you can see all uh, points are were pretty quick to each other, so the pattern for both uh, point clouds looks pretty the same.